actually having whole beats can improve your 5K performance by about 5%. And what they found was that the beet juice is actually just allowing you to exercise at the same intensity level with less oxygen. Not only is it good for you in the long term, but you can do it on race day and still have a benefit. I love that. We're gonna talk about beats and your running performance. And we're gonna dive into the research, the actual research that's been done showing how athletic performance is improved with beats in their different forms and then exactly what you should do at the end of this. So let's get into it here. So let's take a look first at the Journal of Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. We're gonna look at a few studies here, but this one is where we're gonna start because of some of the amazing conclusions that they found, and then we're gonna dive into exactly what they did, okay? But let's start with actually giving you the takeaway of what they found, and that is, if we just took a little snippet of, uh, of the research here, and what they showed was a comparison, and they took runners and they gave them either beet juice or they gave them cranberry juice or relish okay so they they minced up either beets or cranberries and fed it to them and then put them through performance trials and they wanted to see what the effect was and so what they found was that after consuming beet root and beetroot juice their average speed during a time trial went up from oh, they report it in kilometers an hour and miles an hour here let's just look at the kilometers 12.3 kilometers an hour average speed over this was a 5k time trial and then during the last 1.1 miles so basically the last third of the 5k the uh, subjects who had consumed beats their speed was five percent faster than the control group this is that same study and we can see that graph here in the white you see that this is uh, running velocity is lower so the beet root juice is in black was higher at basically at the same points in the race so already that's pretty amazing let's kind of zoom in a little bit more having beets it's not just going to improve your performance the way that it does it is by requiring less oxygen to be used at a given effort level and so not just with runners, but this was used with cyclists. And they did some really cool research with free divers. <laughs> and free divers, they were holding their breath for on average four and a half to five minutes. And after having beetroot juice about one hour to 75 minutes before they took a dive, they were able to hold their breath for 30 seconds longer, which is quite significant. And what they found was that the beet juice is actually just allowing you to exercise at the same intensity level with less oxygen, which is clearly advantageous. Or to put it another way, they require less oxygen at a given speed. And what that means is that you're going to have an abundance of oxygen, which means you can do things like metabolize fat easier and uh, metabolize sugar even easier and rebound from that uh, more quickly. So this led this research when it came out, and this was all in about 2012, this led to a lot of runners and athletes consuming beats prior to a competition in an effort to boost their performance, right? That's what the research here is saying. Now let's, let's look at actually what happened here. So here's a breakdown. If you look at this chart here, th this is measuring, it's not VO2 max because they're not maxing out, but it is measuring VO2, which is measured in ml, kg minutes, milliliters of oxygen that you can use per kilogram of body weight per minute, right? So if you've ever heard of VO2 max, this is just VO2, but not maxed out, all right? So they're measuring how much oxygen is being consumed, and that's on the vertical axis. And then on the horizontal axis, we're looking at groups, and there's a group of control versus beet juice. Now, the control group, which you'll see in the white here, they're having orange juice. And then in the black, you'll see that they're having beet juice. Now they had them exercise at different workloads and this was a, uh, at rest and then 40%, 60% and 80% of maximum uh, VO2, okay? And what they found is that you can see that the black bar is lower on all of these. At rest, it's about the same because there's an abundance of oxygen at rest. But when you start exercising, notice how that black bar is lower than the white bar, meaning that those subjects who consumed beet juice were using less oxygen at the same output level at 40%, 60%, and 80%, which is pretty incredible. Now, this leads us to something very interesting. Why 
in the heck would you have beet juice? Now, all of the research up to 2012 used beet juice. It was in either an extract, in a powder, or a juiced form. Now, it was found that the, the ingredient in the beet juice that was actually giving a performance enhancement was the nitrates in it. So, why not just take the nitrates out and put them in a pill form and pop the pill? You can get more nitrates, can't you? Well, here's what they found, is that beetroot consumption not only improved your 5K time, but it was the healthiest way to do it. And so what they did was they used about 1.5 cups of beets cooked. It was, uh, it was baked beets. This is what the research used, okay? Not boiled, not juiced, but eventually we started to use baked beets. And one and a half cups is about the equivalent of a can of sliced beets, okay? So you can, you can kind of visualize how much it is. Now, when using that amount of beets, not beet juice, the same level of improvement was found. But like I said, we know that it's the nitrates. So why not just use a supplement like this that's full of nitrates, even nitrates from beets? And the answer is because more isolated forms of dietary nitrates have... They have the ergogenic effect, meaning that they have the performance enhancing effect, yes, but their long-term safety isn't well known and is suspected to actually have detriments to your health. So when we're talking about your nutrition, it basically always boils down to the healthiest thing that you can do is eat a plant in its whole form. So if you extract something from it and take that, you may still get some kind of benefit, but it's going to be less healthy than just having that plant in its whole form. And we know that now. So the recommendation is to have not just beet powder or nitrates from beet. So what's next best is to have beet juice. And that's where all the research was done up until 2012. And now we know that actually having whole beets baked about 1.5 cups, which is the equivalent of a can, can improve your 5k performance by about 5%. And we know that most of that performance gain happens in the last mile. And you can assume that the reason that happens is because you're using less oxygen throughout your pace in the first two miles. And so you're, you have less oxygen debt. You've gone anaerobic to a lesser degree during your last mile. And so you can go faster. And so the research hasn't been done, hasn't been shown on running above 5,000 meters, but there's no reason to believe that having beet juice or roasted beets or baked beets specifically isn't going to have a performance enhancing benefit for you. So I suggest that this is what you do. 75 minutes, which is hour 15 minutes, right? Before you race, you have some beets. Now, how much beets? It's about one and a half cups. And the best way to do it is to eat the whole beet. So that would basically be your breakfast. And that's great. I really encourage that because you're also getting things when you eat the whole beet, you're also getting things like vitamin C. You're getting antioxidants as well, which are going to help you in your recovery. You're also hydrating. There's water in them, right? If you just um, take the, the powder or the nitrate, well, you're going to have to still take some liquid. So you're hydrating really well as well. And we know that water that's in a whole plant is more bioavailable to be absorbed than if you were to take a powder and drink some water. Just having the plant in its whole form will hydrate you even better. So this is me just adding to this research here other reasons why you may consider having the entire beet, not just the juice. It still is gonna have a benefit, but if, we, if you wanna hit it the nail on the head and do the most healthy thing that's gonna improve your performance about 5%, then you wanna eat the entire beet. This is really great uh, research for you guys to have, okay? Um, it doesn't mean you have to do this in training all the time, but you can use this as a tool to add beets into your diet whenever you can. And definitely before a race, especially before your peak race, this is something that you can do in your taper leading up to race. Now, one final thing to note here is that that is, you'll get that performance boost provided that you're not doing this ever in training. You don't do it, you don't do it, and then you do. Boost. Why not get that boost in your training as well so that you're just operating at a higher level and if you do that what you're going to find is that on race day you're actually going to have less of a performance boost above where you normally are but it's going to be the equivalent performance boost from if you didn't consume beats at all does that make sense so you can start this earlier and get the boost throughout all of your training or you can just get it at the last minute as well if you don't like beats for whatever reason or if you don't like 
eating vegetables for whatever reason, you can still get a benefit acutely. And that's really the amazing part of this research is that not only is it good for you in the long term, but you can do it on race day and still have a benefit. I love that. So thank you guys for tuning in to Run Elite here, and I will see you on our next training. Mmm, what should I eat? I know, superfood. Sweet potatoes. No sweet potatoes? What? Bananas. No bananas? Okay. Ah, it must be beets.